Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Laura coming to you with another short video today. And today's video, to sum it up, the topic is going to be about trust. And so, what exactly do I mean by trust? Well, my friend, today this video, we're going to discuss learning to trust yourself again. Learning to trust yourself. What does that entail? How do you go about doing it? Because, you know, after being gang stalked or during the process of being gang stalked, most of the time we lose faith and we lose trust. Um, we lose faith and trust in mankind and people in general. You know, we come to a point where we say, you know what, you know, we can't trust anybody. You know, everybody that we run into will probably end up disappointing us, hurting us, lying to us, deceiving us. So who can we trust? We lose hope and faith in mankind and we chalk everyone up as untrustworthy. We even lose trust in ourselves. And so today I'm not going to talk to you about trusting anybody else because before you can put your trust in anyone else, you have to learn to trust yourself. And I know with gang stalking, sometimes it can feel like we've been placed in a world in which we don't belong. And sometimes I felt like that on a regular basis, like, like I've been dropped here on this earth and I just, where do I fit in? Where do I belong? And so the healing will begin when we learn to trust ourselves again. When we learn to trust our gut instincts, our spiritual discernment, when we learn to trust our truth, our story. And this will take practice. And so what do we need to practice? What tools do we need to learn to trust ourselves again? Well, first of all, we need the tool of not depending on validation from the outside, but getting validation from the inside. We need the tool of self-acceptance, accepting our thoughts and our opinions and not the thoughts and opinions of others. You know, whenever I need encouragement, I love to watch the movie Hook, uh, starring our beloved Robin Williams who, you know, went on to be with the Lord um, maybe a year or so ago. And in the movie Hook, he was struggling to believe that he was Peter Pan. You know, he had been away from Never Never Land for so long. And when he came back, he was this high class lawyer that took over companies. But in order to save his children... He had to learn to believe that he was Peter Pan again. And so the part of the movie, there are a lot of parts that stick out to me. But the one part when it comes to trusting and believing in yourself. During a moment, a breaking moment for him, when he had lost all trust, when he felt like getting his kids back was going to be uh, hopeless, you know, a losing situation. All of the children, the lost boys who had never left Never Never Land, they each gathered around him. And each one stepped up to him and took his side by saying, I believe in you, Peter. And you know what, my friends? Sometimes we have to do that. Even when no one else around us is stepping up and saying, you know what, I believe in you. You have to step up to yourself 
And you have to say, you know what? I believe in you. And you insert your name, you know, in that statement. I believe in you and then put your name there. And so for today, I have to say, you know what? I believe in you, Laura. I need to step up to the plate and surround myself and validate myself. And I need to say, I believe in you, Laura. And so it all begins also with forgetting some things. And so what things should we forget? We need to forget the lies that we were told. We need to put those lies far behind us. We need to forget the lies that we were told as kids, as teenagers, as young adults, as older adults. You know, we, f we need to forget, you know, if we were gang stalked by our family or by friends or by neighbors or by coworkers, we need to forget those lies. We need to forget whatever it was that our mother and our father, if they were gang stalking us, if you were gang stalked by your parents, we need to forget the lies that they told us. We need to forget the lies if you were gang stalked by your siblings. Forget the lies told to you by your siblings. Forget the lies told to you what they said about you if it was your family, if it was your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors. Forget the lies. And then, after you forget that, after you put that behind you, and my friend, it's not going to happen overnight. This is not some sort of a miracle pill or anything like this. You know, it's something that's going to take work to forget it. But you have to work on it every day. When those lies start to creep up in your mind, you have to say, no, no, no. And you have to start to say, I'm going to believe in my truth. And that begins by writing a new narrative, rewriting the story that you've been told. Again, to stop believing in the lies, believe in, and you need to seek truth and believe in your truth and know your truth and write your truth. Rewrite the story, rewrite the narrative. You know, as I stated before in one of my previous videos, you are the star of the movie. You are the main character of the story. You know, you may not have been able to write a perfect beginning. You may not have been able to write a perfect middle. But my friend, you are in charge of how you write the ending. And so I encourage you today to believe in you, rewrite the narrative, rewrite the story, and move forward. So I'm going to end the video at this point. Uh, if you enjoy the content of my YouTube channel, if something that I said to you today, if it resonates with inside of you, Please take the time out to hit the like button. Please take the time to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications whenever I upload a video. And also, please, you know, comment and share this video. Share this video. You know, everyone could use some encouragement. You know, we all could use a word of encouragement during these trying times. And so my word to you today is to step up to yourself and say, I believe in you, insert your name. My word for you today is to stay strong. And as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.